that time, I can. No, no, it's all right. Come in. Just talk while I get ready. Guess who I ran into at the post office? Janet. Who's Janet? I told you about her. She's from before. Anyways, she's got a spot over on 7th. We're going to get together. Is Hang it, out. Is it a date? We're just friends. She has a boyfriend. A serious one. How do you do that? Do what? Stay friends with all your exes. I don't know. <laughs> when you break up with somebody, it doesn't change who they are. You still like that person for who they are, right? And plus, Janet's great. If you think about it, it hasn't been that long since she and I broke up. A year and a half. That's not that long. For some people, it isn't. I read it takes a year to shed an entire layer of skin. So if you think about it that way, it takes one whole year before you shed an entire layer of skin that holds the memory of someone, the touch of someone. A, B, A, B, neither? You hate them both. No, look, I was running some errands in the neighborhood and I thought maybe you want these back. Keys. I thought you lost these. Yeah, but I was cleaning, and I guess they've fallen behind couchers. What do you mean you were cleaning? I was putting things away. I was dusting. <laughs> you hate cleaning. We both know this. You get frazzled when things get too organized. Yeah, well, I was packing, and I guess the keys were just... Packing? What? You're moving? No. Kind of. Subletting. It's just for a little while. Where? L.A.? What? Why? <laughs> you sound like a newspaper article. What? When? Where? Eunice. It's just for a little while. It's just to see my mother. Your mother? You told me your parents were dead. I told you my father was dead. My mother, she's... She's in L.A. How is she? Is she sick? No. It's nothing like that. Then what? I don't know. You always have a reason for what you do? Yes. Well, I don't know if I always Let's do. Let's start small. Why are you here? All right, you know what? I'm out. See, that's your problem. You're a lot like Russia. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? When Napoleon went to war with Russia, he amasses this huge army and drives into Russian territory, hungry to fight. So he gets his men ready, and the next morning, they go out to the battlefield, and they charge the enemy, just to see that there isn't a Russian in sight. He keeps chasing them further and further into the interior, and they keep withdrawing, until finally, Napoleon and his men are starving and exhausted and defeated. So I'm a big landmass. Exactly. Well, you didn't tell me we're at war. I'm not the enemy. You're the one who called me Russia. See, this is what I'm trying to tell you. You have a habit of doing that. You know I've tried. Even when we were together, I felt like we were alone. There's so many, so many supplies I can bring. And it only lasted but so long. Okay. You don't have to say. Listen. You want to hear a story? Is it scary? No. Oh, funny. So I was at the doctor's the other day, and you know how they make you pee in those little cups? So I'm in the bathroom, right? And you know, usually those things are squeaky clean. There's never any graffiti. But, but there I am, sitting on the toilet, staring at the door, and, and someone had written something onto it. Like they had scratched it into the metal with the key, and it said, hit me, hurt me, call me Eileen except there wasn't any punctuation. So I couldn't figure out if it was hit me, hurt me, call me Eileen or directive, hit me, hurt me, call me Eileen. It's just, it's been driving me crazy just thinking about the different states of Eileen. That's funny. Uh-huh. So why were you at the doctor's? Oh, it reminds me of one of those, those jokes. What do you call a girl with one leg? Eunice. No, why no, you... it's not Eunice. Come on, answer, guess. Come on. I don't know. Eileen, get it? Eileen? <laughs> Why were you... Well, hit me, hurt me, call me. Eileen, am I pregnant? But 
I thought we were. We were. Then how? I don't know. How long? Four weeks. That's not that long. For some people, it isn't. Have you thought about, I mean, are you going to? Adoption. Thought about adoption. Is that what you want? I mean, I can't. Is there any other option? I didn't think so. Well, how, how much is it? Do you need money? No. No. I don't want anything from you. But I want to. No. The agency will pay for it. It's all been figured out. That's why I'm going home. It's just until... It's fine. It's like the prodigal son always says. There's no place like home. <laughs> that was Dorothy. Whatever. The thing about home is it always takes you back rent-free. Stop making jokes. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at this. for the best. I've thought about it a lot. I need some time to think about this. Will you call me from LA? Sure. You call me if you need anything. Okay, Napoleon. What's the number there? When I call, you'll get it. I should get going. I'll walk you out. No, no. You stay where you need. You take your time. I'm glad you told me. Oh, that was always the thing, right? I could tell you anything. You could, but you hardly ever did. Is the fall. As the heart grows